Hello everyone, thanks for coming out Cyber today. I have a few minutes to film. I'm currently watching both kids. Mom is away on a grocery run. I just removed a whole bunch of Easton Axis factory uh, factory cresting or factory wraps, all right? They're the shrink tube ones and I removed the original blazer knot. This quick video here is because they had the, like I said, they had the factory crest on them. They have all this nastiness on them. Sit there with a box cutter or another type of sharp knife and sit here and scrape all that extra glue off and everything. Or, this is where it gets fun, you can raid your wife's or girlfriend's uh, beauty closet. I bought this myself, but it's not that expensive. But you can raid your wives if you're looking to do this once or twice. Take all the shafts with all the nastiness on them and see how many you can fit in the top. Micro diameter shafts, can I get all four? Eh, it's a little, a little too tight there, we'll go three. Now these were, I believe, six inch wraps. So I don't know if I'm gonna get complete and full coverage, but all I'm doing is this acetone is gonna eat at that glue residue. And so instead of me sitting here and scraping it all and potentially scarring up the carbon and damaging the air, I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. It's not hurting the carbon at all. There's no problem whatsoever. I'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute or two. And I'm gonna take a dry paper towel pull them out and rub it off and that glue and that residue should just come right off no problem. You can do the same thing if you cut off the veins. For example, if you just take a, a I don't have a fletched air with me, but if you just cut the vein part, so leave the base, the thicker plastic base on, cut the vein top thinner part off and then soak all, all three of the bases still attached to the arrow in this, they'll come right off no problem. You don't have to scrape anything. I hope you're able to get outside, enjoy God's beautiful creation, enjoy the sport of creating your own arrows if you so choose, and we'll get to see you next time. Completely forgot to mention something. When you yank these things out, make sure you don't get any acetone when you go to dry it off. Don't get any on the crest. The Axis has a pretty sweet crest. If you get any uh, sort of acetone in there, it's going to eat that away. And that's true of any arrow that has a cresting on it. It's going to eat it away. This has been sitting here less than two minutes. I'll pull another one out here. Just tap off the excess. See all that white gunk on there? Dry paper towel. It's right off. It'll squeak a little bit at you sometimes. If these are brand new shafts, a lot of the time when you take that knockout, you'll actually knock loose some carbon from the end of the shaft or uh, carbon that was inside the shaft from the processing. So it's good to kind of just take the base of the arrow, tip it upside down and spin it onto a paper towel. I got some here. So it's just good to get that, just good to get that stuff out. It won't harm the knock at all. Uh, it's worse in the other end when you're trying to glue in an insert. But I uh, just wanted to make that a little bit more clear, don't get that on the crusting, otherwise you'll have an arrow that doesn't look exactly right. So, see you next time.